I would like to give a special nail addict shout out to Melissa Nails Clicks, Queen Miss Chris 7, Strawberry Shortcake, and April Shorty for being the first four to comment on my last video. I appreciate you ladies so, so much, and I love you all. Welcome back, my beauties, and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena, and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button, and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So for today's set, I am using my XXL coffin half cover tips that I got off Amazon, and I'll have those linked down below. I did use a pill off with them, but I'm using a bunch of colors from McCart's House of Floors Poly Gel Kit. So the first one was Chrysanthemum. That's like a perfect nail bed shade. Morning Glory is a blue. Iris is this really nice purple. Rose, we've seen this before, is the pink from that kit. Daffodil is a perfect yellow from that kit. And then I'm also going to be using Daisy. So there's one other color, Mar Marigold. It's a orange that I'm using and I didn't have it then, but I'll show it a little later. And then I'm also using these Mercart Mermaid Flare Gels from a different collection they had a while back and pretty much using corresponding colors to all of the poly gels that I just showed. I'm um, just showing them really quickly. I don't think this kit nor the House of Floors is still available, but if they are, I'll have them linked down below. I'm also going to try this surface cleaner that I got in a urinal lab in a box because I've never tried slip solution. So I figured I'd go ahead and try that with this set. So to start off, I'm going in with Chris Dance, Chris, Chris, <laughs> I can't even pronounce the word, but anyways, I'll put it on this, this screen, but I'm going in with this shade and it's a nude. So it's like a perfect nail bed shade and I'm going to do French tips on this set. So I'm taking a bead um, and just going ahead with that slip solution and just patting in a nail bed that I feel like um, I like. Um, and then I'll cure that. So with this particular poly gel out of this kit, I've had it for some time. Um, and I know everything pretty much has an expiration, but I've never had problems with using like older poly gel or anything like that. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Comment down below. And let me know if you've had any experience with old products but for me they work the same um but the only thing i did notice is with chrysanthemum it was a lot of bubbles in it so i had to like use the poly gel brush and pop those bubbles and then smooth everything back out to try to kind of uh, make sure that there's no bubbles actually showing within the set and again i'm just going to repeat this over all of the nails they will all be french tip nails um, one thing I can say about French tips when I do them that I don't like is I don't always like the shape of the nail bed that I create. Um, but one good thing about it is you can always create a nail bed that you feel that you like with the poly gel. Then you can cure it and then go into actually file it into a more crisp, nicer nail bed if that's what you chose. Um, I've done this a lot of times and most of the times I just leave it however it comes out. I don't worry about trying to go in and file because first off I don't do a thick enough layer to file because you do need a pretty thick layer to actually file into the poly gel. Um, and I try to keep things thin. I don't like super thick nails. Um, so I don't see the need in actually like building it up too high just to kind of like blend it or or file it back down to me it doesn't make sense so i try not to make it too too thick when doing uh like my french tips and things like that I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. 
and thank you to anyone that takes their time to watch my video it's greatly appreciated and watching the video to the end actually helps me out quite a bit if you're watching right now and you like the video thus far make sure to put a like on the video that helps your girl out quite a bit as well and if you're new to the channel, welcome to the Nail Addict family. And I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. It means the world to me. And if you've been subscribed to the channel, I thank you so, so much for always being here and loving on your girl, supporting me, motivating me. It means the world. I love you guys all so, so very much. And then I'm taking a lint-free wipe now and some alcohol and just rubbing them down. This is where I did attempt to um, file them, but I wasn't able to actually file them too, too well. Just because, again, it wasn't enough poly gel raised up to get the job done. But I did a little something just to kind of show you that if you make it thick enough, you can just kind of make them real crisp and then go in with your top colors on that. So all of my nails will be split poly gel nails or color block nails. So I'm starting with daffodil on the right side of my thumb. And I'm gonna go ahead and pat this into place and like just keep the middle as straight as possible. Now with this method I'm doing as well, you can also go in and just like use a hand file to crisp it up before starting another color. I didn't do that. I just kind of went with the flow and went in with each color. Uh, pretty much split on the nail. So for the thumb, I'm doing uh, the daffodil. I do two layers of daffodil because I did want it to be pretty much level to the nail bed that I did create. So I flash cured this yellow and then I went back in with a second coat right over this first bead that I did create here. So this is where I went in with Marigold, which is the orange, just to show this is the extra shade that I was using. And I'm going in on the left side of the thumb to finish this finger here off. And then each color that I last used on the previous nail will be used first on the next nail. So for instance, I'm gonna be using Marigold first on the right side of my index finger, and then going with the next shade and so forth and so on. And this is very easy to do, super beginner friendly. I love a good color block nail. If you've been following me, then you know that I love a good color block nail. And I feel like these nails came out really great. I'm gonna put in a picture of the inspiration that I had for this. So I actually could have just used gel polish and did the set and been done. But I decided that I wanted to go ahead and do it with poly gel, just to give myself um, a little bit more like put a little different twist on the nail set because again it looks just like you know a good gel polish was used to create the set but again i wanted something different so i went in with the poly gel and i love how these turned out
I have some new subscribers on the channel and I just want to say I see you guys and I thank you so much again for joining into the family. Don't be shy though. Make sure you leave me a comment so I know that you're here. I love to interact with each and every one of you that does comment on my videos. Um, so I did miss uploading Tuesday and it was just simply because I didn't get to this voiceover and I wasn't stressing. I'm not going to stress anymore when I miss a day. I am very particular in life period and I do like to go by schedules and keep things kind of like on point and just know what I'm doing on a normal, regular, everyday basis. But I've learned that with these videos here, if it doesn't go how I plan then it just is what it is because I do have a normal life and things in my normal life don't always go as planned. So my life is going to come first and then my YouTube videos will follow right there after. Um, but yeah, I just didn't get around to the voiceover and I was going to upload this yesterday, Wednesday, but I was like, it's okay. They can wait till Thursday to see the video. Um, but I do have my videos set. It's just the voiceover part for me a lot of times is where I find it difficult to kind of get in because right now it's really, really like busy all over the time for me as far as work. And then when I'm off work, I have my, you know, family to deal with. Um, and then like by the time I do get a second from the fam, now I'm exhausted and I just want to relax. So yeah, not making excuses, just being real. I mean, I just didn't get around to the voiceover and so I decided to post it today on Thursday. So the second color I'm going in with is Morning Glory. This is such an absolute beautiful blue here. So I liked that these colors were not as bright as the original picture. Um, there was some pastelness in it to therefore for me give off spring vibes with the pastel shades. Um, and then the lightning stripes that, that were put onto the nail set to me, it kind of like pushes me more into the mind frame of April because April showers, you know, we have a lot of rain and things like that um, in most areas of the world in April. And I know where I am, uh, we do get quite a bit of rain. Um, and with rain, there comes thunderstorms. So for me, this was a very nice spring set in my mind. I really, really enjoyed doing everything about this set. So now my middle finger, I'm starting with Morning Glory here and just going in on again the right side of this nail with just that shade trying to make it as straight as possible i'm going to do a flash cure on that and then i will go in with the next shade which is going to be rose on this one and i just love the split effect on these particular fringes again this was super easy to do anybody can do like a split fringe like this with poly gel and one of the best features of poly gel is the fact that you have so much ample time to work with it. So you don't have to rush, but you still get everything done just how you want. Very, very nice. Um, that is one thing that I do actually really love about poly gel itself. Super beginner friendly. And again, you have so much time to actually uh, use the product. So again, once I get Rose set on this now, I'm going to flash gear again. And then on my ring finger, I go in with Rose to start on the right side. And I believe it's Daisy. I go in with on um, the, the left or right side. I'm not sure, but you, you'll get the see and you'll get the picture here. <laughs> I'm going to let you go ahead and watch some of the application.
So on the pinky, I'm going in with Daisy and Iris, which is the green and yellow, and doing the same thing, just the split French nails um, on this one as well. So I'm gonna only show one now, but I'm going in with my Enel Couture Crystal Clear, which is a clear poly gel, and I'm just going to go ahead and clear cap all of the nails, just to kind of make everything a bit even, because with like the split colors on the French, then the nail bed, some areas were raised other, higher than others or lower than others, and I just wanted to even everything out. So I'm using the Crystal Clear to do that, but again, I'm just gonna show one nail because it's really repetitive. I basically did a one bead technique on this and started by the cuticle um, and just kind of went over everything to try and make it nice and smooth and make sure there is an apex um, and then I did go ahead and cure everything for a full 30 seconds in my lamp and this is how the nail set is looking right after application And then this is how the nails are looking after being file shaped and buffed. And they look pretty okay. They're okay. Um, so now I'm going in with a matte top coat on everything because I did want to keep the set matte as it was in the picture. I thought it was really, really cute. Although very different with the uh, poly gel. So I feel like with the clear poly gel that I used the cap, it kind of took away from the actual color of the poly gels. No shade to Enel. I'm sure the crystal clear is just fine and clear, but for some reason to me, it took away from the actual color of the poly gels I used from a cart. Um, so to me, I liked how it looked matte still, but I think with a shiny top coat, it would have been a lot better. So I'm not showing all of the lightning stripes because strikes because with some of them I, were, I was out of frame. Um, but the ones I am showing, I'm basically just showing me applying them randomly on the nail with the colors that I chose to use. And then I'm going to go over them with the clear glitter to make that three, excuse me, clear acrylic from a cart to make that 3D effect on all the nails. And yeah, this was the easiest part. Um, only thing about this I didn't like was once I was done, I should have actually went in and wipe down my nails with a lint-free al alcohol wipe just to kind of take off the uh, extraness from the clear acrylic and I didn't. So the first clip I did of my nails at the end, I ended up having to erase that. And I had to use sticky tabs and place these back on my nails to do another end clip and more pictures because it was just really, really like, um, like chalky from the clear acrylic that was left behind but I do like how they came out and here's the finished set again super nice like I love the length of these I love the split two-toned Frenches that was also a plus um, the lightning strikes were really simple to do 
um, and everything just went really nicely together in my opinion. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this nail set. And if you've made it this far, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my future sets. I thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you in my next one. Remember to be the best you that you can be and much love to you all.